What is the fascination with humic, the dark one, and fulvic acids? Where these are extracted from is what we call soft brown coals. So many of these were deposited maybe during the Carboniferous era. So we're talking about millions of years ago when these giant wetlands are basically compressed over time. Soil's been added on top of that and some of it has compressed so tight that it's formed coal reserves. This material comes off those coal reserves. It's very soft. Um, and what we're talking about is basically concentrated sunlight energy in the form of these plants. Uh, what we see is just incredible microbial responses when we apply these products. Part of that, and, and I can never figure this out because basically, you know, soft brown coal is inert. But what the fungi are feeding off are the electron charges between those linkages of that carbon in this material. So they chemically extract this humic acid off a humate. So it's a soft brown coal, it's called a humate. When we apply these to soils, so typically I think of humates for humus and fulvic for foliar. So when I'm doing fulvic foliar applications, I might use a fulvic acid. What we find is it does some remarkable things in the plant. It increases what we call cell wall permeability by 30%. So when I talk about that, what we're mentioning is that as this, let's say you're applying a nutrient with a fulvic acid or even a herbicide with a fulvic acid, it increases how well that enters into the plant and can actually increase your herbicide or uh, nutrient applications by 30% just with small applications of this particular product. And that might be just one pint to a quart per acre that we're using when we're doing these applications, one to stimulate biology, two to lift plant health, and three to increase the efficiency of our nutrients or herbicides that we might be using.